Hey guys, welcome back to or welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Charlie Alton, and if you have, thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting me. It really does mean a lot to me. Now today's video, as you can probably already tell from the title, it is yet another haul video, a Kmart haul, in fact. So I haven't done this before. Um, yeah, work finally decided to put me on more, so now I'm able to afford my shopping addiction because you know why not. So in this haul there is some clothing items and a random, well not random, random to the video but not random to my everyday life and it, but it is mainly books. So I'm warning you now it is mainly books so if you don't care about books just click off now and watch a different video. So anyway with that out there let's get into it. So as I mentioned there is some clothing items so I'm just going to get into that now. I've got an entire pile of stuff down here, which you can't see, which, thank God, is a mess. So the first item, I really should have turned everything the right way before filming, but it is just a casual dress. I wish I had a proper filming setup, but it's just a short dress and it is really comfortable. It's like normal t-shirt material, stretchy. And yeah, so I'm just getting the clothes out of the way now and then getting into the book. So this is the dress I bought. I don't normally wear dresses or buy dresses, but you know, summer is spring, but summer's coming up. And in, if you live in Australia, you know they can get so fucking hot that you burn or melt. And so you need something thin, otherwise you're just going to walk around naked. And a lot of people don't want to say that. <laughs> So this is the first item, I'll cut to the clip of me trying it on. So the next thing I got was a nice simple black crop top. It's got a pocket here. Um, the tag's still on it because I haven't worn it yet. Um, if you know me, I don't normally wear tank tops. Every day, I I don't feel like I'm fooling them. But you need to choose me, but whatever. I decided to push myself outside of my comfort zone. And plus, the only times I really wear crop t-shirts is with high-waisted pants. And I've got a lot of high-waisted pants, so I thought, why not to get a simple crop top? You can never go wrong with it. And it is really soft. It's a little bit oversized, which I don't mind. And I like that it's got a little pocket in there, so you can hide whatever you need. Normally, me lighters. <laughs> so yeah, I'll cut to me trying this on. Now I have to stand up because the pants that I'm showing you in this next clip I'm actually wearing. They're super comfy and I've been wearing them for a while. They're these really nice shorts. They're not actual denim but they are really comfy. They have a very stretchy waist, I sort of cropped it. So yeah, very stretchy waist, it's got back pockets and the front pockets. It's really comfy, it's really stretchy and I'm glad I got this. I wear this all the time. Like my new go-to pair of shorts and it'll be great for the summer because I have got like denim shorts but I wanted something that looks like denim but wasn't denim so let's cut to that clip. Now the next thing I got is actually another crop top but I do wear this all the time always with a pair of leggings, they're high waisted but it's this Everlast um, crop top, it's very comfy, it's very thin, well it's not see through thin but it's thin, it's light and it's soft and I like that it's a tank top so it's very good for summer and spring here and it's great because I can pair them with the shorts I'm wearing, I can wear them with leggings and I can wear them with the pair of shorts that I also did buy, and these were really cheap and they were special. Everlast is a really good brand, like if you're looking for fitness wear, athletes, yeah, it's really good. So these are really high quality and I got them really cheap. I can't remember how much, but I love this. And yeah, I will wear this all the time, especially like after I've come home from work and I'm like chuck on a pair of leggings and a tank top. 
So yeah, let's cut to that clip. The next thing I got was actually a pair of these sports shorts. I have so many of these shorts. They're just so comfy. You can wear them all the time. Even in winter, if you just walk around your house, I might sound insane for that. But I do wear these all the time. They're super comfy. And you can never have enough shorts, especially in these. And they're really good, especially if you're still in school and you're doing PE. These are pretty handy. You might get in trouble for how short they are, but they are good for sports. So I got another pair of these. They're really comfy, really stretchy. These, just in case you're wondering, these are size 10. Yes, I know I look smaller than size 10, but I'm really size 10 to 12 in most things. So yeah, let's cut into that clip. And the next thing, it's not clothing, we're out of clothing now, it's the random miscellaneous item I was talking about. It's actually the 20 piece that for calligraphy. I got it for $5. I've opened it already, I've got the instructions and the font idea sheet. I just thought this was so cool to have and that sort of makes me want to write neater. My handwriting is atrocious. My mum always said I got my dad's handwriting, which I agree with 1000%. So that's my little miscellaneous thing. So now we're going to get into my books. I got so many books, there's at least like, wait, how many is there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Honestly, I wish this was even a dent into my book collection, if not. <laughs> so quite a lot of books. And two of them I will be talking more about in my True Crimes of Australia series because I am using two books from this collection to help me research for it. So those will be the first two books I talk about. So yeah. So I did get quite a few books. I got two true crime ones. I've got the Missing William Terrell book and the True History of the Kelly Gang. These are both things I'm looking to cover in my new series, True Crimes of Australia. Keep your eyes posted for that. I'm nearly finished writing the first episode. I also got the Cobra Queen. I didn't realise this was part of a series. It's got the Blood Countess, the Spider Queen. I think it's Spider Queen? No. The Blood Countess, the Spider Goddess, the Skeleton Key, and Cobra Queen. So I am going to be looking for the rest of these before I believe with this one, otherwise I will get confused and very annoyed. I also got this. The gold foiling got my attention. Below deck, it looks extremely good. I'm looking forward to reading this. And I've got the Shadow Friend by Alex North who's also the author of The Whisper Man. I love this. It's so pretty. They know how to get me. You just show me a pretty cover and I want it. <laughs> and as we all know, I've got this. This is in one of my other videos that I have already posted. I just included this because this was from Kmart. This one I think was the most expensive book. This one was $10. All the rest were either $8 or $9. So, yeah. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button and comment down below if any of you have ever used a tissue at, or serviette as a bookmark. I know I have a lot. And comment down below which books you are interested in reading and what books you think I should do for my series book club. Until next time, I love you guys and bye.